Yeah. And just put your number on there, the number that you can assign for the course of this proceeding. You get fast up hand back to do whomever you receive it. Madam four person, the way we proceed, I will have you start at the top of the verdict form and read it in its entirety into the record. Okay. You may proceed. Okay. At the top at the means top. at the top. At the top. In the Superior Court of DeKalb County, State of Georgia, State of Georgia versus Andrea Snyderman, defendant. Indictment number 13CR2413-5. Judge Gregory A. Adams, verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Andrea Snyderman, count one, hindering the apprehension of a criminal, guilty. Count two, concealment of material facts, guilty. Count three, false statement, guilty. Count four, Perjury, not guilty. Count five, false statement, not guilty. Count six, perjury, guilty. Count seven, perjury, not guilty. Count eight, false statement, guilty. Count nine, perjury, guilty. Count 10, false statement, guilty. Count 11, perjury, guilty. Count 12, perjury, guilty. And count 13, perjury, not guilty. This 19th day of August, 2013. And what's the jury number? Jury number 31. And I know your signature's on there and your name is also printed on there. It is. It will be filed at the appropriate time, but at this point in time, I need you to have hand the proposed verdict form over to Deputy Garrett, and you may be seated. And would you, Deputy Garrett, would you present the verdict form to the state first, followed by the defense? Any objection as to form from the state? No objection as to form, Your Honor. All right. Would you present it to the defense? I'm Jeff Hellinger, joined by Bill Thomas, former federal prosecutor and current defense attorney with me outside, 9 of 13. Is that a big victory for the prosecution? I think the prosecution will certainly count this as a victory. Uh, no I think the, the uh, right. jury has uh, obviously considered and weighed. Thank you. Uh, weighed the, the, the facts very closely. Uh, that's evidenced by the mixed verdict, but I certainly think that the uh, that you will hear Robert James shortly coming out counting this one as a victory for the prosecution. Let's go back inside the courtroom. Judge Gregory A. Adams. Ms. Uh, from the state, anything else with this jury from the state? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. From the defense? The defense would ask that the jury be polled, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, either side has an opportunity to do what is called polling the jury. The clerk will come around and ask you a series of questions, and I will refer to you by your numbers, and you will stand and answer those questions that the clerk is going to come around, as I'm indicating right now. Come on around, Ms. Patterson. I know Ms. Marble is also in training. You can come on up, Ms. Marble, and stand next to her since you're training to take over. And they're going to ask you a series of questions, and you're going to have to stand in the jury box and answer these series of questions truthfully based upon the questions that are going to be propounded by the clerk. I will identify you initially by your jury number, and if you don't recognize your number, I will give your initials for right now. Juror number five, if you could stand in the jury box, please. Juror number five. Juror number five, is this your verdict? Yes. Is it freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your verdict? Yes. You may be seated. Juror number 14. Juror number 14, is this your verdict? Yes. Was it freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your verdict? Yes. Juror number 17. Juror number 17, is this your verdict? Yes. Was it freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your verdict? Yes. Juror number 28. Juror 28, is this your verdict? Yes. Was it freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your verdict? Yes. Juror number 29. Juror number 29, is this your verdict? Yes. Was it freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your verdict? Yes. Juror number 31. Juror number 31, is this your verdict? Yes. Was it 
freely and voluntarily made by you? Yes. Is this still your burden? Yes. Juror number 33. Judge Gregory A. Adams right now is polling the jury again. Uh, we have heard nine of 13 counts. Andrea Snyderman is guilty. And these are charges of perjury, of hindering. Uh, there has also been the issue of obstruction. Uh, this is now in its fourth week, uh, this trial, and it has been uh, a point that the prosecution has tried to prove that a there was infidelity they also tried to establish a timeline and they also have tried to prove that Andrea Snyderman was evasive in her dealings with the Dunwoody Police Department in the aftermath of the murder of her husband Rusty Snyderman as a result the defense brought out a bevy of friends of the couple who tried to indicate that their marriage was healthy and their marriage was fine. And that has been pretty much uh, uh, the evidence that we have seen. Again, that issue of infidelity has been front and center throughout all of this long, arduous trial. Let's go back to Judge Adams right now. And once, I'm going to let you just go back into the jury room for a moment, but once I would complete the releasing of you, you'll be free to talk about the case with anyone you want to, free to come and go. You can identify yourself with anyone you want to. But for right now, since you've concluded this portion, I'm going to let you just step into the jury room, follow the instructions of Deputy Garrett, okay? Thank you for your service. Lord, the parties may be seated. 